Hello. Hello, our artist friends. We're happy to see you again. So, Jolly, what are we going to need today for our art project? Black. Black markers. If you have Sharpie markers, Crayola markers, and black crayon, anything that's a black drawing utensil. What else are we going to need? Timer. A timer. If you can use your cell phone, you could use your clock, you can use an actual timer. What else are we going to need? What's this? Paper. Let's hold it up for the people. Blank white paper. Just some straight up drawing paper, printer paper, copy paper, any kind of paper. White paper. What we're going to need is crayons or color pencils or markers. Anything to color. Step one. We are going to do um, some brainstorm drawing. Some super quick drawing. Drawing on your feet. And we're going to do a bunch of different quick drawings. So what we're going to do for our paper to prep is we're going to take our paper we're going to fold it. Why do so, we need to fold? Because we need to get a lot of different sections so that we can draw lots of different small little thumbnail drawings. So fold that in half. Good job. Now we're going to take that. We're going to fold that in half. Again? Again. So right now we have four folds. Then we're going to take that. We're going to fold it another time. That's going to be a little tricky. We can do it. We're going to take that, fold it up like that. How can we do it small though? So now that we have the paper folded, um, we have now created eight sections. What we need to do is we need to draw on our crease line. So we're going to trace. It's a little tricky. You're going to trace on that crease line. That's not straight. Though. It might not be perfectly straight, and that's okay. Because the whole point is that we're creating eight little drawing areas on our big piece of paper. Can you show the people, Jolly? Let's see so they can see. There we go. Good job. So we need eight sections, okay? Eight sections. Yeah, eight sections. Eight One, sections. two, two three, three, four. I don't need to. Oh, 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 by yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Perfect. So we have eight sections. We are ready to find out what we're gonna draw. I'm gonna draw um, oh, I'm gonna tell us what we're gonna draw right now. You ready for this? So we are going to set our timer. We are only going to draw for five minutes. Um, and what you have to draw is eight different made up creatures. So you might make a creature with eight legs and five heads. You might make a creature with um, how many eyes? three eyes and a tail. You might make a flying creature. You might make a creature that's wearing um, a hat. You might make a creature that um, has two arms, two legs, two tails, and two horns. You might make a creature that has, what else? Hair. Oh, lots of hair, I forgot about that. Your creature might have lots of hair. What about um, lots Short. of teeth, a shirt? As many different creatures as you can. We're gonna set the timer to five minutes, and you're gonna draw eight creatures as fast as you can, and don't overthink it. Ready, set, go. So, let's see. Hmm, my creature is going to have a square head, big ears, two eyes, So far, I have one creature. One. Yeah. And Javi has one creature. Okay, so now we have to make how many? Eight creatures. Yeah. Eight, we creatures. Make eight creatures. All right, don't overthink yeah. it. Start. Make your creatures. Let's go. Let's give our creatures some teeth. Let's give our creatures some eyes. Let's give our creatures some horns. Mine have one arm. Look at my creature. Oh, I love your creature. One-eyed creature. I didn't even think of that. Do you mind if I do a one-eyed creature too? I like that. Let me do a one-eyed creature. I could do that. All right, so we're drawing creatures. As many creatures as you can. And then, yeah, we make it. We make creatures. I'm making a two-headed creature. How do you make two-headed Creature. No, it's so silly. One one I face is smiling and one face is frowning. And this is gonna have lots of hair. Oh, I forgot my creature doesn't have any polka dots. Let me give my creature some polka dots. Mine's an off. Okay. 
Oh, you just gotta go quick, quick. How many do I have? One, two, three, and four, five. One, two, three, four. We gotta go. We only have a minute and a half. He's dancing. Okay. Uh oh. Look. Oh, we're down to one minute. We gotta go, go, go. Uh, 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 we gotta just uh, keep drawing. We can't think about it. We just gotta keep going. Oh my goodness. Keep drawing as quick as you can, as quick as you can. You don't wanna stop. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm giving this one wings. This creature can fly. And this creature has four, no, five legs. And fly. Mine has two legs. And Bird. I went first. You're done? Yeah. And I'm up to one minute. Yep. Let's try. All right, if you still have time and you got like 10 seconds, what you could do is you could think about, did you forget adding any fingers? Did you forget adding any tails? Oh, I forgot a tail on this one. Did you forget adding any um, claws? Oh, creatures love claws. Did you forget adding any... Um, a mouth, teeth. Oh, I forgot teeth. Oh my goodness, ears. They have to. They have to hear um, horns with stripes. Oh, I think our timer's done. It doesn't make a bell, but <laughs> that's a weak timer. It's over. We have. It's pencils down, markers down. So, my friends, drum roll, please. Here, let's So, what did we just do so quickly? We were drawing freely. We were not overthinking it. We were not too busy erasing mistakes. We were not too busy thinking, oh my goodness, I've never drawn a creature before and I don't know how to do it. We were just drawing. And that is a way to do brainstorming, to get your brain thinking, your hands drawn, and you moving quickly. So, so now that we learned about doing some thumbnail brainstorm drawing, what are we going to do next? I have a good idea. What? This is a good one. Okay, we're gonna look at our eight drawings. We're gonna say, I really like these drawings, but some I like better than others. So let me look at my eight drawings and let me see which one's my favorite one. And I'm gonna get my favorite color and I'm gonna circle it. Which one do you like? Oh, good question. Let's see, I like them all so much, but I think today my favorite monster is going to be the long-armed, one-eyed, big-clawed, furry monster. So you're going to take your favorite monster and you're going to circle it. So Jolly, I'm guessing you want a blue crayon? Hey, yeah, because I have my favorite color. All right. And I... What's your favorite I'm gonna monster? I'm going to like um, this one. Oh, I love that. Just one? Perfect. And that one. Okay, let's do one for now. So that is his favorite monster. I would agree. What are we going to make? Okay. So now that we've made eight different monsters, eight different creatures, and we've decided which one we really love, you ready to find out what we're going to do? It's so exciting, right? Okay. We are going to get a new piece of drawing paper, and you are going to draw the creature that you love, the one that you circled. You're going to draw it as big as you can. So you're going to try your very best to draw it the same. I know it's gonna be a little tricky and it might come out a little different, but you're gonna try your very best to draw the same monster, but as big as the paper. We're gonna draw it first with our marker and then we're gonna color the whole thing in. So what? we need a black marker. And then mark. All right, so you're gonna to try to draw, draw this monster on this paper. Oh, you already did a great body. Let's see if you can make the eyes the same. Nice big smiling mouth. Good job. That does look exactly the same. That and how looks much? like um it looks like a crescent moon. That does look like a crescent moon. It's a crescent moon mouth. I like those ones a lot. It's the longest green. Can you make that one the same? I'm trying my very best to make it exactly the same. Might be a little bit different and that's okay, but I'm gonna try my very best to make it as similar to my favorite thumbnail sketch as I can. Me too. Okay, so now we have a super duper big creature. And mine. And he has a super duper. Show it to the people right up there. Mine's the biggest. Oh, here's his humongous. Super duper big creature. So you make the same one. I tried my very best. What do you guys think? You did, Junior. There? Let's you see. did the same. It's like the mama and the baby, right? 
almost the same. Okay. Almost the same one, but this. There's the baby. My favorite one is the baby. And there's the big one. Let's show the people. Awesome. Wait, everything on your paper needs to get colored in. So you're going to color in the hands. You're going to color in the claws. You're going to color in the eyes. As the goal, though, is that we are coloring everything in. So we're not leaving anything behind. But this one's orange, right? You want to use orange? No, Mom. Oh, Another one. I like that yellow. Are you done with it? Can I use it? Yeah, you could use it. Oh, thank you. And I'm using the book first, too. After you could use the book, because you never did it. Jumping creature, no. Must be flying. That's because your creature has wings. Yeah. All right, so when you're caught. Elf flying wings and hands. And hands? Yeah. Oh, that's good. This is the hands, this is the hands, and not the wings. I love it. Jolly is the best. It's honestly the best creature ever. Hello, people. I made something. And there you go. That's how we go from brainstorming to quick sketches to thinking really quickly outside of the box to a finished drawing. No, do this.